warning. This experiment generates an excessive amount of heat. Fire safety protocols must be in place. This experiment also deals with melting metal. It should be performed outside with no other flammable materials around. Before I start this video, I would like to apologize for breaking the promise I made in the previous video. I ran into some troubles with finding some footage that I filmed for nitrocellulose. There is a good chance that I have lost them somehow. If I cannot find them in the end, I will probably steal some footage from my nitroglycerin video. Signs then have many similarities. Ceramide is a composite between a metal and a metal oxide. It is not only limited to iron-based ceramides. It can be between any metal and a metal oxide. But in order to make the reaction happen, the metal is used must have a higher reactivity than the metal that bonded with oxygen. Ceramide is usually not an explosive, but there are a few exceptions, for which I will show in a future video. To start things off, only two chemicals are needed. Here use 80 grams of iron oxide and 27 grams of aluminum powder. It can be easily scaled up or down to suit your needs. In the future, I plan to make a video of how to synthesize iron oxide, but for now I just go with the laboratory grade one. First, to weigh out 80 grams of iron oxide. The amount that is used does not need to be exact. A regular kitchen scale will get the job done just fine. Then we are 27 grams of aluminum powder. The particles need to be small enough to keep the reaction self-sustaining. By using a receivable bag, the two components are evenly mixed. Ceramide is actually somewhat difficult to initiate. The temperature required is above the melting temperature of aluminum. It can be achieved by the combustion of a piece of magnesium ribbon. What was happening here was that aluminum strips the oxygen from the iron and forms aluminum oxide, with the elemental form of iron being displaced. The bright spots that you see here are actually melting iron. The reaction can get as hot as 3000 C, so it's very important to have proper safety gears. If you like these videos, please subscribe for more. And as always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.